Welcome to the Focus First YouTube tutorials. My name is Jonathan DeLeon and I'm the Business Development Manager at Focus First, as well as your guide today. In this video, we're going to go over how to find and set up custom settings so that you can tailor the software experience and the graphs exactly to you. So let's jump into it. The Focus First pricing software allows you to set a lot of custom settings so that you can really tailor your experience as well as tailor the personalization on your graphs. In order to access all of that, you click this settings button here, which opens up the main configure dialog box. Then you see on this first page, we have a lot of different options right off the bat, and there's also two other tabs. Okay, but on this first page, you can first either read a new configuration file, which you only have to do if there's a major update to the program and something's not working on your end. But you, in many cases, won't have to do anything with that unless you're online with a support person. Now, resetting your MLS choice is something that you might have to do if you move or if you actually use multiple MLSs. That way you can reset your MLS and start over again. Activating product allows you to enter your activation code, which might happen every couple months or might happen for you if you're an annual subscriber uh, when your current activation code comes to an end. This here allows you to replace your logo and put custom folder, uh, footers in. That way when you print your graphs, you can have your messaging on the bottom and have a logo instead of the blank graph, you'd have your company logo or your personal logo. Right here we have the option of changing over the uh, new year thought. So when you see the neighborhood patterns of 2019 or 2020 or 2021, when do you want to start calling it and start showing the last year even though you're still in that year, the standard is September. That way you show, you know, if, if it's right now is 2021, we wouldn't show 2021's patterns until September. That way there's enough information. But if you want to change that and make it later or earlier, you can do that here. Now, these other options are pretty straightforward, but they allow you to upload multiple MLS files. So if you're in an area that happens to kind of have like an overlap where different MLSs serve the same area, you can upload different MLS uh, files at the same time and they can join those two and, and find the overlap that way you don't have multiple listings for the same home. You can instead of showing the last 12 months, the last year and the last two years, you can change to 3, 6 and 12 months odds of selling if that better matches your market. You can activate the multi-year buying pattern to show that local areas uh, sales kind of just how they've tra uh, transitioned over time and how they've grown or decreased depending on your, your market. You can use median instead of average if you wanted to on the time to sell chart. Uh, standard is average, but again, these are all these options that you can change. Um, and then you can change how under contracts are treated. A lot of people really want to see under contracts either treated as for sale or they want to treat them as sold or they just want them ignored when it comes to that odds of selling calculation. Uh, that's here in this MLS info configuration. In the options, again, you can read through all these and kind of change all that as well. The main thing um, on this that we kind of want to make your attention uh, drawn to is the current color scheme is our more modern one. If you like our kind of original standard one or even a brighter one because that's just kind of your style, you can come here and click these different color themes and that will change universally across all of your graphs. That way you don't have to do each one individually. Um, and then through the positioning tab, this allows you to change the period of the pond. Right now, it's set for three months. That way, it projects forward three months using a numerical uh, calculation. But you can make that less or more depending on your market or what, what your situation is uh, with that customer. If they're looking at maybe listing in you know two or three months down the road, maybe you want to see four months so you have a better idea of what that competition coming into the market would be. And again, all this here also enables that legacy pond. If you prefer the, the older look pond that does resemble more of a farm pond as opposed to the layers of water, you can come here and do that. And if you want to look at that legacy value positioning sheet, and that's something that really you found value in your business, that here is under positioning to allow you to have access to that as well. All you have to do is click that checkbox and click OK. This settings here allows you to really change your experience, really use some tools that we used to create in the past and how have moved forward with different tools or if you want to change uh, your own personalization and put your own logos and footers in this is where you come for it remember that's the setting button here and it lets you change all of that 
Hopefully this video helped you learn the Focus First pricing tool. If you want to see more videos like this and additional videos we release, make sure you subscribe to our Focus First YouTube channel. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time.